the final action of the Third Dalek War came with the Exelon Gambit. Prose. The Secret Lives of Monsters. It started when a Dalek saucer traveled to the planet Exelon in search of Parinium, where all of its power was taken by the Exelon city. The Dalek task force encountered the Third Doctor and his companion Sarah Jane Smith along with a human expedition. They attempted to gun down the humans, but discovered that the Exelon city had also drained their power supplies, rendering their gunsticks useless and forcing the Daleks to form an unholy alliance with the humans. While their gunsticks didn't work, the Daleks replaced them with machine guns and enslaved the Exeons in search for Parinium. When their power was restored, the Daleks revealed they were the cause of the space plague and were about to fire plague missiles to kill the Exelons and the Doctor as they made the getaway in their ship. However, it and its crew were destroyed by Dan Galloway, who had stowed away on the ship with a Dalek bomb, which he detonated. TV. Death to the Daleks. At some point, the Daleks invaded Trodos and nearly wiped out the Trods. They were defeated by the second Doctor. Comic. The Trodos ambush, a group of asymmetrical Daleks targeted the planet Zeos to serve as a beachhead for a subsequent invasion of Earth. However, the second Doctor arrived and allied with the native Zoans to fight them off. Pros. Daleks invade Zeos. A Dalek outpost was located on an Earth-like planet. The planet was rich in the materials the Daleks needed to construct more Daleks. In 2135, the second Doctor arrived on the planet, intent on fighting the Daleks' power. Using a homemade Dalek casing for a disguise, he infiltrated the outpost, leaving John and Gillian who in the TARDIS, and learned that the Dalek Supreme was on his way to supervise the production of thousands of Daleks. He went to the mine to sabotage it, but was spotted leaving his casing and was forced to flee. The Daleks searched for him and, unable to tell which one was the imposter, began destroying each other. The Dalek Supreme contacted them from his ship and ordered them to stop, but the Doctor then impersonated the Dalek Supreme and ordered the Daleks to destroy themselves. The Doctor escaped in the TARDIS just before the Dalek Supreme arrived, having struck a devastating blow against the Daleks. Comic. The Doctor strikes back. The Daleks established a base on an Earth-like planet and constructed the giant exterminator which they intended to use to destroy the Earth. The second Doctor, John and Gillian arrived on the planet and learned what the Daleks were up to. To defeat them, they derailed the train carrying the Daleks who had been trained to operate the exterminator, and stole the weapon's instructions so the Doctor could learn to operate it himself. He then used the weapon to destroy all the Daleks on the planet. Comic. The Exterminator. The Daleks invaded an unnamed planet, where they attempted to construct tracks they could use to travel. The second Doctor, John and Gillian arrived just as they were building the tracks and managed to escape before sending out an electrical current which destroyed the Daleks and their tracks. Comic. Jungle Adventure. On an unnamed planet, the second Doctor, John and Gillian tested the Doctor's pedal copter, which crashed. When they got up, they ran into a group of Daleks, who chased them. They managed to keep them back by pelting them with rocks, then threw a boulder in the Daleks' way before escaping in the TARDIS. Comic. Attack of the Daleks. The Daleks led by a Dalek saucer commander used a saucer to destroy Earth satellites during the Cold War, hoping the Americans and the Russians would blame each other and the conflict would escalate. The saucer landed at the bottom of the ocean, sealed within a pressure dome, where it was to wait until the Daleks saw the perfect moment to strike. However, it was infiltrated by the third doctor who contacted a submarine, the HMS Pandora, and ordered it to fire on the ship. The Daleks died as the ship flooded. Comic. The threat from beneath. The Daleks invaded Urkos and enslaved the Klims to test the Dalek driller in order to destroy both Ekros and Earth. The fourth doctor and Sarah Jane Smith foiled the Daleks' plans. Comic. The Dalek revenge. Sometime prior to 3985. Prose. Legacy. Theater of War, the Daleks destroyed New Mondas by intercepting the 7th Cyberfleet and installing Oblivion Continuums into newly converted Cybermen, which they detonated inside Cyber Control on New Mondas. Comic. Cyber Crisis, the Daleks invaded the New Earth system with Werelock henchmen they brought to the 25th century from, many years ago, and planned to destroy the system with neutron fire so that they could turn the system into a breeding ground for cloning Daleks by isolating the qualities of various creatures throughout Mutter's spiral and breeding it into the new Daleks.
The fourth Doctor froze the Dalek battlecraft in one moment in time and space forever when he disconnected the time-space rationalizer of the Dalek's time transporter. Comic. Doctor Who and the Dogs of Doom. The fifth Doctor took Tegan and Nyssa to Florana early in its history, when it was a barren planet. He found that a Dalek had crashed and taken control of the planet, pretending to be its god. It was destroyed by Thane, who attempted to take over himself. This resulted in the killing of many of the inhabitants, and the flowers Florana was named after grew from their ashes. Audio. The Elite. By 5124, Luna University student River Song had repeatedly asked for funding requests for a university expedition into Dalek-controlled space, stating that they should see what the Daleks were currently doing. Pros. Student bodies.